Campfire survivors and dozens of other volunteers gathered in Quincy today to give their time to help those affected by the Dixie Fire. Action News Now reporter Carmela Karcher spoke with one volunteer who started his own nonprofit organization right after his home of Paradise was burned down. Here in Quincy, dozens of volunteers are giving their time to help evacuees. But for Stephen Murray, this is his way of coping with what he went through nearly three years ago. Stephen Murray is a campfire survivor. After losing his entire community of paradise, Stephen has started his own nonprofit called the Coral Apple Foundation. I basically was traveling back and forth each day to get people's meds and all that. So. Meanwhile, I'm collecting donations for the campfire. Literally, people are driving through the valet at the Nugget to drop off donations for me to help. And Stephen hasn't stopped giving since. In Quincy, he and dozens of other volunteers gathered to give their time to help evacuees by providing everything from food and water to toothbrushes and clothes. But these volunteers are giving so much more than essentials to evacuees. Just ask two-time fire survivor Greg Walsh. So I stopped it, like I said, uh, to, at e and J's for a burger. They were closed. Talked to Elizabeth, uh, the E of e and J, and um, they've been doing this for a while. And she made some calls, told her my story, you know, just because not looking for anything, you know, just oh, you know, and um, and so three hours later, she had a uh, trailer for me, a house trailer. But Greg and Stephen have something that'll help them move forward: their positive outlook. In three hours, without any request on my part, they got me home. So. I want to support that kind of magic. When stuff happens, I mean, you got to look for goodness and then you got to go in that direction. I want to just express that I deal with my depression and my PTSD and anxiety from help. To, I help others. I'm the best I've ever been, so I'm very blessed to be able to help people. Stephen and the volunteers will be in Chester on Monday, providing more meals and essentials to those who are returning home. In Quincy, Carmela Karcher, Action News Now, coverage you can count on. Stephen is also hoping to raise $10,000 to help house evacuees in hotels. For more information about Stephen's foundation and how you can donate to help those affected by the Dixie Fire, head to our website at actionnewsnow.com.